give uh, Ivan uh, a big applause for his talk. Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Thank you for attending to this presentation. Uh, I am Ivan Alfonso. I'm enrolled in the engineering PhD program, but this project is about my master thesis. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the optimization-based design of wireless sensor networks for gas monitoring systems in underground mines. So this is the schedule. Uh, so I'm going to start with the context. Um, so in Colombia, the coal production is, has a great impact in the country economy. Uh, Colombia is the largest uh, coal producer in Latin America. But, uh, however, there is an, uh, an industrial safety problem uh, about the explosions uh, and poisoning of workers in underground mines. Uh, this feature shows the meaning fatalities and emergencies uh, in Colombia. There is a, this is an important number of accidents uh, because the coal production uh, in meaning produce uh, toxics and explosive gases. So to address this problem, uh, a way is monitoring the environment using wireless sensor network. But the design of wireless sensor networks uh, have, has several challenge or points important points to take in account. into account. Uh, we identify this, this important point. First, the cost, the cost of the infrastructure, the infrastructure or deployment uh, associated with the number of sensors deployed in the mine. The second point or important challenge is the lifetime. Mm, commonly, the, the nodes or the sensors in a wireless sensor network are powered by batteries. So it's very important that the uh, power consumption uh, should be uh, low, very low, because uh, for, for take a, a high lifetime of wireless sensor network. The, and the, the third challenge or the third point is the coverage. The coverage is the physical space that the sensor are able to monitoring, to monitor, sorry. Uh, and finally, the data fidelity, the ability for data to retain its granularity. So in this approach, we address these, these three points, cost, lifetime, and coverage. Mm, a wireless sensor network is composed by, by three types three type of, of nodes. Uh, the sensor nodes that monitoring the environment and generate the data. The relay nodes that serve as bridge, communication bridge be between sensor nodes and the base station node. And the base station node that collect all data generated by, by sensor nodes. So um, the energy consumption in this node de depends mainly on the communication, mm, in, in the amount of or number of data packets received and sent. So for example, in this, in this case, this is the node that with the highest energy consumption because has connected uh, many sensors. But to address this, this problem, uh, a technique called dynamic routing is used to, to change the communication in real time or in runtime. So the dynamic routing is to equilibrate the, the work overloaded between several nodes of the network. For example, the, if the communication change in this case, the, this node, now this node is, is not with the highest energy consumption of the network, the overloaded node. So dynamic routing is to, to reduce energy consumption uh, between nodes and increase the lifetime of the wireless sensor network, and we use dynamic routing for our approach. This is our, our research question, research question uh, how to develop a methodology to design wireless sensor network for gas monitoring in underground coal mines. So we address, uh, with our approach, we address this research question uh, warranting the, a given lifetime at minimum cost. And uh, we provide a number and location of, no, of each node deployed in the mine 
and data routing or communication between, between nodes. Uh, so about related work, um, we not find uh, approach that address these three objectives, but in our approach we address the lifetime, cost, coverage, in context of meaning to develop or to design wireless sensor network for monitoring gases in underground mines. Uh, this is an overview of our methodology. Um, we propose an optimization process based or composed by two stage. This is known as lexicographic optimization. And our optimization process has a, an input that is the desired lifetime provided by a, a, a stakeholder. In, in the stage one, this desired lifetime is a constraint. And the objective of this first stage is minimize the deployment cost or minimize the number of sensor deployed. It is the same. So the output uh, of the stage, the first stage is the number of nodes to meet with this desired lifetime. And in the second stage, the number of nodes is a constraint, and the objective is minim minimize the energy consumption or maximize the lifetime of the wireless sensor network. Uh, the output of, of this, this methodology is the configuration or the design of wireless sensor network, uh, the number of nodes deployed, and the location of, for each node, and how is the communication between the nodes, between nodes. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the optimization strategy. This is a layout of a small mine in Colombia, an ideal small mine, um, composed by tunnels, uh, work fronts, pit heads, and we use uh, a graph for represent the network. So we, we put, uh, or the, vertex, the vertices of a graph uh, are the possible location for nodes of the wireless sensor network. And we define or we put a vertex of a graph, of a graph uh, in each um, corner. On, and this is the, the, the network for this example, for this layout of the mine. And the edge of the, of the graph represents the possible communication between nodes. But uh, possible communication is only possible if the nodes have line of sight. It's, it is very important for our approach. Only nodes that have line of sight can communicate. So this is the graph uh, for this small layout of underground mine. And the value of, of, each, of each edge is the physical distance in meters between the nodes. So we define uh, five decision variables mm, for our approach. The first decision variables is to, to storage uh, the location of, the, of node deployed in the mine. Uh, the second variable, epsilon, is to store the, the type of node deployed, one for sensor nodes and zero for really nodes. The third variable, uh, y, is to, to store the possible communication between nodes. Remember that only nodes that have line of sight can communicate. So for this is the, this variable. The variable Y is for, to store the number of package or, or data packets that pass, that pass from, from one node to other node. And finally, the, the variable C is to represent the, the power consumption or the energy consumption of the node with the highest energy consumption in, in all network. Okay. This is our objective function. We define this objective function. And uh, the objective function have to, to a stage. The, for the first stage, alpha equals zero. The objective function reduce, is reduced to minimize infrastructure cost or minimize the number of sensor nodes deployed in, in the mine. And for the second stage, uh, alpha equals one, the objective function is reduced to minimize C. That is, minimize is equal to minimize energy consumption of the network. Mm. 
this, this variable C take values uh, according to some constraint that I'm going to explain in, in other slides. So this is the energy consumption model that, that we used, proposed by Heinzelman. Um, it's important to note in this energy consumption model that the, there is a energy consumption by data transmission and energy consumption by data reception. Uh, the energy consumption data transmission depends on the distance, D, and depends on the, the amount of data packet sent, so the size of the data packet that is sending, and other contents of, of energy consumption. And for data reception, uh, it, the energy consumption depends on the, only the, the size of the data packet sent not the, of the distance. Okay, this is the, some parameters. Uh, I'm not going to, to explain each parameter in detail, but we have uh, parameters so about energy consumption of the, of the nodes and other parameters as set of nodes, distance between, between nodes, frequency, monitoring frequency per minute, etc. Okay. And we design or we define it, uh, some constraints. The first constraint is only to, to ensure that a mandatory sensor will be deployed in the mines because uh, in Colombia, uh, according to, to Laos, uh, is mandatory deploy nodes in, in some parts of the mine, for example, in the war front. So this constraint is to, to ensure this. The second constraint, this is connectivity constraint, is to ensure that only nodes that have line of sight can communicate. For example, in this case, the node 1 and node 11 can communicate, but the node 8 can't communicate with, with node 1 or node 11. Okay, so the, the third constraint, flow conservation constraint, um, is to ensure that all data generated by sensor node arrive to, to the base station node. Uh, this first equation is for, for the base station node, and second equation is for uh, relay and sensor nodes. The four constraints, lifetime constraints, is a very important for, for our approach. Uh, in the first stage of the approach, uh, we are ensure that the desired lifetime, that is input of, a, of our approach, is complex. Uh, okay, also, the energy consumption of each node is lower than the battery capacity of each node. And uh, the second equation is only for the stage two. Mm, remember that our, uh, in this case, uh, we are minimizing the, the energy consumption of all nodes and uh, maximizing the lifetime of the wireless sensor network. And the five constraint is, is only for a stage two, is for, to ensure that the number of nodes uh, that we obtain in the first stage are equal or, or major to, to the number deployed or to num the number used for the second stage. And this is the, the last constraint. The coverage constraint is to ensure uh, the coverage of monitoring between different areas of the mine to ensure that uh, sensor nodes will be deployed to monitoring cases in, in, sever in several areas of the mine. So this is the implementation of our optimization model. We develop a software uh, using Python, Gurovi as optimizer, and NetWorex for managed graphs. Our software ha, has uh, several parameters, input parameters as, as decided lifetime, uh, the, an image with the mine layout, and the output of, of this software is an image with, with the wireless sensor network represented in the layout. Uh, the number of nodes and location of each node in the mine, and a table with information about communication between nodes. So we use Python because, because of, for several reasons, because Python is easy to code, Python has a community support in line, Python has a, a several package to use, uh, for example, Gurovi, NetWorex, 
and we use Gurobi because uh, so uh, when you want to solve an optimization problem, you need an, a solver and a modeling package. So there is several uh, solvers. Uh, some solvers are uh, open source, for example, GLPK, GLPK, and other solvers are not open source, as Gurobi. But Gurobi has an academic license is very useful. And about modeling package, uh, we have uh, Gurobi, GAMS, PALP, Payomo. Uh, Gurobi have an app to, to modeling, to modeling, so it is very useful too. And we use Gurobi because Gurobi is easy to code. Gurobi has a good documentation. Gurobi has a very good performance. Gurobi was used in in several projects, in empirical experiments, so it's very good for use. This is an example. This is a very short part of our code um, using Gurobi to modeling with Python. So with Gurobi, you can uh, model defi def definition, model definition. You can define the, def the decision variables. You can define the constraints. Very easy. So it's, it is a good. And finally, about the results. Uh, okay, we use um, three case studies, three uh, real realistic mines: Sena training mine, Alalisal mine, and the uh, Ligeron mine. Uh, mines located in Sogamoso, Boyacá, Colombia. And we perform several tests with 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 these three mines. This is only one example for the Sena training mine. So remember that we are using dynamic routing. So the the results of our approach is this: uh, the configuration for for the wireless sensor network uh, in the first time window, the second time window, and the, the third time window. And you can see that the node with highest energy consumption for each time window change. It's it's for for reduce energy consumption and increase the lifetime of the of the network. And this is the summary of result, the, the test that we performed with the three mines and the lifetime index that we obtain. It's important to note, for example, that when you increase the, the time windows, uh, the lifetime also increase. But not in, in all cases. For example, for the Lalisal mine, uh, not happen it, not increase the lifetime. Uh, the lifetime increase to when when you increase the the number of nodes deployed, but uh, really nodes, not sensor nodes. When you increase the really nodes deployed, the lifetime to increase, but the cost of deployment also increase. Uh, so, we design a prototype to implement our approach. We develop or we design a, a WSM prototype with three sensor nodes with two relay nodes and one base station node. The base station node is a computer with, with a XB module uh, for wireless communications. And we design or we develop a very short software with Python to, to base station node to collect all data generated by the sensor nodes. And with this prototype, we, we test mainly communication in the mine. We deploy this prototype in the Sena training mine. And we probe uh, mainly communication, communication, what is the communication in the mine to, to probe our hypothesis and so on. And finally, the conclusion. As conclusion, uh, well, we, we develop or we propose a two-stage lexicographic optimization a methodology to minimize deployment cost and maximize the lifetime of the network. Uh, we use three realistic case studies, three mines, to, to probe our approach. Um, other conclusion is that the use of Python as programming language uh, facilitate the development of our optimization for several reasons, because Python, Python has a powerful available package available. Uh, Python has access to uh, several optimization solvers as Gurobi, and Python uh, has, has a community support online. 
And finally, the Gurobi package for Python uh, also facilitated the, the development or, or approach, the modeling, the problem for use. And this is all. Thank you. Yes. Thanks a lot, Ivan, for a very interesting talk. There are some questions for Ivan. Okay, uh, thanks for the for this conference. Um, had you considered using uh, a new technology uh, called uh, long range LoRa? Uh, the advantage of this is we can get a very long range between node and node. And uh, for example, I am using Python uh, microcontrollers. Uh, maybe you have any uh, uh, so, yeah uh, for the for the prototype that we designed we using xb module xb module for communication because with the with this module we meet with the largest distance in the mine in the tunnels mine uh, i have an additional slide for example, this is the largest mine of the of the Sena training mine, and with XB technology, we we complete with this with this distance. Uh, we use uh, a XB model SB2, SB2. The about uh, according to the data sheet, with this model you can get a communication distance about one kilometer approximately. But uh, this is a, a good comment. Uh, maybe we we can uh, consider other technologies for communication. Because uh, typical distance is uh, five kilometers, ah. and for example, uh, the low pi four uh, minimum distance is twenty kilometers. So okay. I guess maybe it's another uh, tentative solution. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you for Did your you? comment. Is there another question for Ivan? Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the presentation and congr congratulations for the, for the work. Very interesting. Uh, maybe uh, a first step to testing long ranges maybe could be changing the, the antenna type because it's omnidirectional in the, in the picture, mm. in the prototype. And maybe in some parts of the mine, it could be interesting if you can test another type of antenna, that a directive antenna, and that can improve, I mean, double the range of the anomaly antenna. It could be a first step to test and improve and minimize the, the point of presence of the sensors all around the mine. Yeah, thank you. Anyone else? No? Okay. Please give Ivan. A big applause, and uh, we continue.